the European Light Heavyweight Championship. 12 three mid rounds with a match made of 12 stone and 7 pounds. The chain that introduces you in this corner, the challenger, the British champion, Dennis Andrew. And dress scale 12 stone 5 and 3 quarter pounds. This is 12 3 mid rounds of boxing. Our officials appointed by the European Boxing Union. Our judges from Denmark, Luke Jensen. From Italy, Elmo Delia Matilina. Our referee from France, Raymond Bachelet. Our timekeeper is Mr. Teddy Turner. It's 12 rounds, 3 mid rounds of boxing. And so we're set for this European title fight, which means absolutely everything to Dennis Andrews. And just look at the difference between the two of them. The champion on the right is an exceptionally tall man for a light heavyweight. He'll be some five, six inches perhaps taller than the British champion. Blanchard makes his third defense of this European title. Monsieur Raymond Bachelet is the referee. So the problem for Andres, can he get near this exceptionally tall man? And if he does get near, can he really belt him around the body? Because that might be the key to an Andres win. And people have packed this uh, arena in the London West Hotel for this promotion, jointly promoted by Greg Steen and Harry Holland. And a great night, the first major title fight ever staged at this particular venue. <laughs> Andrew's now 32 years old. He's waited a long, long time for this big chance. Blanchard will be 28 next month. Six feet, six inches, he claims to be, Blanchard. Andrew's, we know, goes around 5'11". Blanchard, a former Dutch amateur light middleweight champion, been a pro since 1979. Born in Amsterdam. Andres was born in, in Guyana, in South America. Blanchard's nose reddened already. The champion certainly taking his time. Intent on keeping Andres at long range. Andres certainly one of the toughest men in the game today in this country. Tons of stamina. Blanchard has suffered just one defeat in his career when he first made a challenge for the title he now holds. Andres is going to have to work very hard to get near this tall champion, but then he always knew he'd have to do that. <laughs> so a fairly uneventful opening round, both of them just sizing each other up. Here's Andres, the man who's found a new lease of boxing life at 32. In the last two or three years, everything has gone right for him. He hasn't lost a fight for three years, and there's his uh, current professional record. 
32 fights, 25 wins, and he's won 16 inside the distance. 60 feats, all of them in his earlier days. But everything's been going right over the last few years. Seven and a half years he's been a professional boxer, but he's conceding something like six inches here in height against a man who is known to be both a good boxer and quite a useful puncher. And here's the champion who will be 28 next month, 6 feet 6, 29 fights behind him, just the one defeat. So nothing in the opening round. Not so many years ago, there was a, a world light heavyweight champion called Bob Foster, who stood six feet three and was considered to be exceptionally tall for a light heavyweight. This man is tall. The whole point about this is can Andrews get at him and do some useful work without being hurt himself? Britain already have five European champions. If Andrews can win it, six will equal the all-time record. The British champion being picked off. He can't afford to stand off. He has to find a way underneath that left hand somehow and come in and work. And Blanchard's right now beginning to come into play. Blanchard covered up and holding. Andrews gets the push. we get a close-up of this remarkable Dutchman remarkable for his physique because to go only 12 two and three quarters that's what he weighed today at the weigh-in and to stand six feet six he really is a remarkable physique he went nearly four years as a professional before he lost the fight and then in November 1982 he made his first challenge for this title against Rudy Koopmans of Holland and he was stopped in eight rounds mainly done with right hands from Koopmans and that's the only time he's been beaten he weighed only 12, one and a half for that fight. Koopmans lost the title to Richard Karamanolis of France in 84, and Blanchard took it from Karamanolis. Also a former Benelux champion, Alex Blanchard. Andrews left it very late in life before he took up boxing. He was 21 before he even thought about it.
born in Guyana. Andres came to this country when he was 10 years old. Now 32. Wonderful atmosphere in an arena like this. A hotel room, smallish and packed, and the atmosphere absolutely thick. Sanchard still not showing too much eagerness to open up. Fighting a very cautious battle. They're fighting for the title, of course, that was once held by John Conte and by Chris Finnegan. Conte was the last British holder of this title. Quite a few years ago now. And he's roughing Blanchard up inside, Andrews. Just beginning to warm to the task now. He takes a long time to warm up, Andrews. He really ought to be back in the old days when they fought 20 rounds. He would have been perfect for it. Not an easy man to fight, Andres. He comes at you awkwardly. And he's just disturbing the Dutchman here. Just proving himself a bit to be the governor here. And that's what he's got to do, he's got to keep pressing the attacks in. That was a good round for Andrews. Well, as you've heard, sitting alongside me here at the ringside is uh, manager Terry Lawless. What do you make of it so far, Terry? Well, it's very interesting. It's my first look at Blanchard. Um, I, he's a better boxer than I thought he was. Um, and uh, it's got the makings of an intriguing fight because, as you said, Dennis takes a little while to get warmed. And it wasn't until halfway through that round that he started to get in his stride. He wants to get Blanchard out the middle of that ring and put some pressure on him. And that's, his, yeah, that's what he was going to do at the start, the middle of that round. Um, once he gets warmed to it, then I think we're going to see some excitement here. Because I think Blanchard can punch a bit. He, you know, he, he measured him up with one, one or two one-twos. Uh, I wouldn't want to see Dennis rush on to those, but he wants to get him out of that middle of that ring with some pressure. Do you think body punching is the, is the key to this for Andrews? Well, he's got some very clever designed shorts there that, that look like a uh, uh, Blanchard. That is, it looks like that any punch below the chin is going to hit him on the shorts. I don't know that. I don't know that made that made those. <laughs> they certainly seem to come up a bit high. So after three rounds, I've got them level. Now the whole thing here is as Dennis attacks, whether he leaves himself open and allows Blanchard to come through with perhaps a good right. And Andrews is certainly roughing him up inside. He knows more about the inside work. He's getting ticked off for holding, but he's certainly giving Blanchard some problems inside. The Dutchman doesn't seem to me to know too much about him fighting. Well, he probably doesn't have to do too much of it, I suppose, that, uh, with that height and reach. Andrews 
now getting in close more often. He's looking dangerous to the right hand, and, he, and if he can just, bring, he's bringing him round onto the right hand all the time. That is good stuff from Andres. And Blanchard is having to use those long legs to get out of trouble. And he's not out of trouble yet. I don't think he knows anything about him fighting at all. This is a desperately bad round for Blanchard. And Blanchard is certainly going to have to find something to cope with this, or he's going to get swept out of this contest and out of his title. He's looking at his corner very anxiously. Much as I say, what do I do with this fellow? And he looks a very weary man as he breaks it off and goes back to his corner. I don't know whether Terry, I'm imagining things, but it looked to me as though he was in real trouble in that round. Yeah, it looks like he's found the punch to catch with that right hand continually caught him on the chin, and he, he does look bemused, to say the least, there. Uh, I don't think uh, the way that round went, I don't think he's going to be strong enough to keep Andrews off. And now Andrews is going to get stronger and stronger. This is that big right hand. Yeah, that's the one, and he keeps throwing it. That was a rough round for the Dutchman. There's no doubt about that. So, good start to this fight. Four rounds completed, and Andrews on my card now has moved out in front. What a triumph it'll be for this man who went for so many years as just another fighter, and he had uh, two attempts at the British title, couldn't win it, and then finally did. So we have all the makings of a storybook fight here. If Andrews can pull this off, man who's come from nowhere, hopefully the European champion at the age of 32. Wonderful story. He's only two years younger than John Conti, who's been retired for I don't know how many years. Andrews now needs to keep the pressure on. He's disturbed the Dutchman's confidence and he wants to keep it that way. There's a cut on Andrews' right eye. Now that is tragically unlucky on his right eyebrow. It's only slight at the moment, but it's in a nasty place. And he knows it's there, he can feel it. So that's a nasty little setback, just at the moment when he was beginning to get on top. And it's beginning to bleed a bit more now. And he's feeling for it anxiously, trying to get a look at the glove to see just how much blood is coming. And it's beginning to get into his eye. Now uh, this could be a tragic story if that gets any worse. Round five, Andrews cut above the right eye. Oh, he's got him with a right. If ever he needed a right, he pulled it out of the bag then. He's looking. He's got, oh, and he's been signaled up by the referee. That's extraordinary. I didn't think he was going to beat the count. And the referee gave him a, single, a signal to say, get up. And he did. Extraordinary. Now then, can Andrews finish it? He found the right he needed. Can he find another? He is so close now to being European champion. hurt and confused he 
He doesn't know now at Blanchard whether to come in close or stay away to be safe. Oh, he only just missed with that one. What a round for Andrews this is. A little touch of desperation in Andrews there when he knew he was cut. Made all the difference. He suddenly pulled out the punch he needed and had the man on the floor. So another good round for Dennis Andrews. That doesn't look to be too serious a cut, but the blood was certainly running down into his, uh, into his eye. Well, worth having another look at that wonderful right hand he pulled out at the moment he most needed it. Let's have another look. And also, let's have a look, if we can, at the count. Because it was quite remarkable here that the referee got to something like, I couldn't hear the count, but I think he was certainly at eight or nine, and he, he signaled to him. I don't know whether we should actually see the referee here. There you are, look at that. He said, come on, get up, get up. I've never seen that before from a referee. Unbelievable. And I think if the referee hadn't signaled like that, he might not have beaten the count. He seemed to misjudge it entirely. So the sixth. from Andrews again and another and he's hurt the man yet again round six he's giving Blanchard the roughest fight he's ever had Andrews has got that right hand cocked far back now ready to throw almost signalling it oh. he just needs to steady himself up a bit Andrews not get too wild because he knows now he can hurt this man. Doesn't want to make any mistakes. He's drawing him round onto the right again. Good uppercut. He's really giving Blanchard a bit of a boxing lesson apart from anything else. He said several portions for holding. Blanchard is tumbling all over the place. He doesn't really know what to do. He can't get his boxing together. He can't use the left hand because Andrews is on top of him all the time. And he can't get it moving. Another good left. Andrew's eye just beginning to bleed again. Nothing serious yet. More and more Blanchard is coming in close because he feels he's safer there. So another good round for Andrews, who is now on my cart, moving very steadily ahead. Blanchard doesn't seem to know what's happened to him. While well, this fight is going up, not only live to Britain, but also to our friends in Holland, and uh, sitting nearest to us there is the blonde Rudy Koopman. Now, this is the former European light heavyweight champion who beat Blanchard when Blanchard made his first attempt to win the title. Rudy Koopman.
So round seven coming up. Halfway through now. Andrew's sitting nicely on a lead, if I'm right. This will be judged by the referee and by two judges outside the ring. Knut Jensen of Denmark and Elmo Della Michelina of Italy. Monsieur Bachelet of France, the referee. There's one thing that's uh, positive, and that is that Andrews will be strong all the way. Got enormous reserves of stamina. And he's got the taste of victory. Every time Blanchard gets around that way, he looks very anxiously towards his corner. stand off, got to keep the pressure on if he lets Blanchard get confident and lets him get that left to work again, things could slip Nobody's mug at boxing. He takes quite a lot of punches on his gloves. He also slips quite a few. quite the dominant round for Andrews like the last three and he's just let Blanchard do a bit of scoring here with the left seem to me Terry that uh, Dennis just let it sort of slip slightly there the, well, one, the one, momentum went one thing's for sure Harry Blanchard's not going to give him the title he's going to fight to the death isn't he I mean he's taken some blinding punches there around the head and the body and he's still trying I, mean, I thought he pinched that round I don't know you spoiled it but I thought he just about pinched the round yeah. uh, I, I think um, Dennis is trying too hard with one one punch to knock him out I think if he just settled down and roughed him up and hustled him a little bit I think he might get rid of him but, uh, He's certainly not going to give this title away. Right. Still working to keep that cut under control on Andrew's right eye. And I did, uh, in fact, give Blanchard that round, but I've still got uh, Andrew's ahead. setting for a championship club. These great chandeliers. The right has come into play again. And a standing count 
by the referee over the champion. Compulsory eight count. The DBU rules. And that has certainly done Andrews a favour there, giving him that standing count. Because that is certain to influence the two judges. They might have been wondering whether he was badly hurt. Now they're convinced he was. A little short right there from Blanchard, signalling danger. the short right that's a dangerous punch that's one Andrews really must guard against he's walked into two of those now and Blanchard has suddenly sharpened up his punching considerably certain no, nobody's pushover Blanchard he's taken a lot of wax and he's still there and still dangerous closing <laughs> seconds now of his eighth round Blanchard having taken a standing count, but also having come back with one or two useful little dangerous right hands. But it's got to be Andrew's round, I think. So this is some fight. Hard all the way, exciting all the way, and Blanchard getting a bit of a rough ride in the corner as well. Everybody's against him. He's the son of a Dutch a Dutch mother and his father who comes from Suriname which is the former Dutch colony in South America once known as Dutch Guiana and interestingly enough it's right alongside it's a neighboring country of uh, Guyana which is where Andrews was born let's, let's have a look now at the punch that caused the referee to give the champion a standing count good right hand and the referee jumped in instantly I think he saw the knees buckle a bit and he had a standing eight count there it is again on the side of the jaw but to be fair to Blanchard he came back towards the end of the round one or two very snappy short rights gets in close and when he gets in close he roughs up the champion If Andrews can just keep coming at him, keep pressuring him, never let him get set, he must surely win this title. Oh, what have I said? What have I said? The big right hand from Blanchard. And Andrews is very confused. He's up, but he's not too fit. That has really stunned him. Now, can he survive? Round nine. The bolt from the blue. 
that was that right hand he looked dangerous with in the previous round and didn't he just find him critical moments now for Andres that has taken a lot of the fight out of him and he's wide open to the right again we still have just under a minute of this round left Andres hanging in there close where he's safest he still looks a bit weak on his legs to me with a good right underneath suddenly everything has changed so Blanchard from looking like a man whose title was slipping suddenly looks like a man who's going to keep it too soon for Andrews who needs all the rest he can get Terry that was a, uh, an amazing right hand well we said he wasn't going to give it away this fellow is plenty of guts and he really is trying that was a blinding punch he called him with all credit to, to Dennis that he got up and kept his composure and got through the round I, I, we can have a look at that uh, Terry here we are come right <laughs> yeah that was a blinding punch and I, I thought just prior to that I thought that Blanchard was looking just a little bit arm weary but obviously that's brought him right back in the fight and now we have got a fight on our hands that's right here's another look at that right he was always looking as though he'd be dangerous with the right hand it was always the one that was going to give Andrews trouble if he was careless and he certainly left himself open for that one so we have three rounds to go anything might happen can't afford to take another right like that. Well, I've got him dead level now. And this Dutch champion demonstrating that he too has stamina because he's had a, a rough ride here tonight and he's come very close to losing his title on at least two occasions but he's still right in there with a big chance in fact looks the more dangerous of the two at the moment And his work now doesn't quite have the ferocious quality that it had earlier on. That one right hand undid a lot of good work.
Blanchard now. Looking a lot sharper than Andrews. With two rounds to go. And I think he might just have stolen the lead. But it's very, very close in my opinion. So these last two rounds are going to weigh very heavily indeed now. One of the judges, the referee, Monsieur Bachelet. Two more judges outside, one from Denmark and one from Italy. And uh, two rounds to go, well, the chances are now it'll go all the way, I would think. Can Andrews pull something really big out now for the last two rounds to try to claim this title? He's waited so long to get a chance out. His career has taken a turn for the better so late in life. And the disappointment he'll suffer if he walks out of here and loses tonight, well, that's boundless. Sir. And I think Andrews now has got to go for broke. I think he made himself hurt. <laughs> well, we've been given a treat here tonight in this fight at the London West Hotel. Steen and Holland, the promoters, will be well pleased with this. It's the biggest thing they've ever put on and it'll be remembered for a long time. The Dutchman's uh, trunks are beginning to uh, hang perilously low now, and the, uh, the foul-proof cup is beginning to be seen. I hope that's all that is seen. Blanchard not doing too much work. <laughs> One minute left for this round. Andrews again just needs to impose himself now on this in this last minute. Catch the judge's eyes. Doing more work than Blanchard, certainly. Oh, tumbled over. No knockdown. around this for the two of them. Andrews has certainly done more work and he really hasn't let Blanchard do a lot and he might have stolen this round in which case I have them dead level coming into the last. There's the world to end the 11. And there turning round is Mrs. Alex Blanchard and she has been getting rather excited I can tell you. Well it's time Terry it's time for summing up. What do you think? Uh, the fight obviously is very close. It's surprising enough, I think that's the first round that, that Andrews has gone to the body. And considering the amount of room there, that's the first round that he's really pinned him and worked both hands. And it, as you said earlier in the round, it's a go for broke thing. He's been waiting all these years. I had him box Johnny Waldron for an eliminator back in 1979. So now this is the last, this is the most important three minutes of his life. He's really got to go out and take this title now. Right. So just seconds remaining now before we move into the last round of what has been a thrilling fight at the London West Hotel and now can Andrews at 32 take the European title
a knockdown each. I have it desperately close. I really do have it absolutely dead level. needs he needs to come forward like he did in the earlier rounds put this man under pressure don't let him work good left Blanchard once more as he did earlier looks confused Slow start by Andres, then he began to get right on top and dominated a few rounds, then he lost his grip and now he's coming back in again. stamina he's going faster now than he has at any time in the fight only just missed with that one but I'm not so sure he did miss Blanchard hanging in now we're in the closing minute seconds. He's stolen the play certainly from Blanchard in his last one. As indeed he did in the 11th. They're going to be tantalizing moments while those scores are totted up. It's gone all the way. And what a fight it was. What a fight these two put on. And Bo Williford, the American trainer of Andrews, has lifted him up. Already claiming victory, but that remains to be seen. Judges from France. Denmark and Italy will now make up their minds. Terry Lawless, what do you think? Yeah, I think he's just about won it. I think he's just got his nose in front of those last couple of rounds. And he, you know, he said he was going to fight to the death there, and he really did. He really, whatever he gets, he deserves, Dennis Andrews. He really does it the hard way. He's a gutsy fighter, all right, because that punch he took, uh, that would have knocked a lot of men out, I think. Yeah, he'd come close a couple of times, you know. He was, he was teeing off with that right hand. He'd come very close, and that was a very... Uh, Difficult time of the fight because they were both tired, they worked very hard, and it took a brave man to get up from that punch. Right. Done boxing no harm, a night like this and a no, fight like a that. Tremendous Talk night, and uh, as I say, I'm, I'm be delighted if he's won this because if there's ever a man deserves it, Dennis Andrews does. Have you got anybody in your stable that might challenge Dennis Andrews? Uh, not at the moment, no. no I've got, not, I've got a very good... You've not been a great light heavyweight man, have you? I've got a very good light heavyweight, Tony Wilson, but he's, he's a little bit away from this just now. Uh, new boy. New one. Right, now... They're trying to clear the ring, but uh, you can see for yourself what a problem that is. You've been in the middle of a few crowd scenes like that, Terry. Yeah. <laughs> They're all right when you've won. Yeah. And that's a very anxious camp, the Blanchard camp, I can tell you. Ladies and gentlemen, the judges are Right, okay, ladies and gentlemen, the decision is a draw. Oh, the decision is a draw. Blanchard has retained the title and that is not going to go down very well with Andres or with the people in this arena. That seems to me to be unkind to Andres.
I thought he'd won it narrowly, but I thought he'd won it on the last round. And now it's getting a bit rough in the ring as Andrew's supporters come in to make a bit of a demonstration about that decision. I'm going to try and get up there and see if we can talk to Dennis. And while Harry Carpenter is uh, heading into the ring, Terry, let's have another word from you. Absolutely heartbreaking, that, for Dennis Andrews. Well, it's, that appears to be the story of his life, Steve. He's, um, he's uh, always had to do it the hard way, and I thought he just about got home tonight. And it's a crying shame. I mean, you can see the look on, the, on his face to work so hard like that and, and to be robbed at the death by just a draw. Because this challenge had come so late for Dennis, what's next for him, do you think, after a night like that? Well, I would think they've got to uh, order an immediate return, and uh, then it's up to Dennis again. I mean, I, I, I can't see... Well, it's such a close fight, it's a very hard to, one to predict. I think